Hey, some questions I get asked a lot are, what camera do you shoot with? Or what gear do you have? Do you use filters? And before I get to that and answer those questions, I do want to preface this video by saying, gear isn't everything. When you have a nice meal at a restaurant, you don't go to the chef. Ah, oh, what oven do you use? What brand of pan did you cook that with? No. Now, I'm not saying that having the right gear doesn't help. I'm saying don't hinge yourself on having the best and latest equipment. That out of the way, let's get on with it. This is the Think Tank Airport Essentials backpack. I've had it for several years now and it's been with me around the world. What attracted me to this bag in the first place is the fact that it can fit into any overhead locker or under the seat. And this is true from my experience, even the super low budget airlines. And as a photographer, you know the worst thing you could hear is, oh, excuse me, sir, uh, we're gonna have to check your hand luggage in. The cabin is full. No, thank you. Doesn't happen with this. Nikon D750. Full frame, 24 megapixels, with the sealed, 1080p, 60fps, has a bit of a tilt screen. It's a little bit old though, so some features are a bit lacking, like video. Looking for those in my next upgrade. Mirrorless, maybe? I have three lenses. Every image you see on my portfolio or Instagram has been photographed with one of these three lenses. The first is this one here, the Nikon 16-35 f4. This is my go-to when I'm shooting in landscapes cityscapes or anything that needs a wide angle really. Second lens, the 28-300 Nikon. This covers every focal length the 16-35 doesn't and it's amazing when it's stopped down on a tripod, so say between f7.1 to f11, but if you're using it handheld, yeah, it gets a bit average. Samyang 14mm 2.8, a newer addition to my kit and often considered the best bang for buck astrophotography lens. I got it for about 200 quid when I was in London and it's pretty damn sharp. Astro, Milky Way, Aurora, Comets, all that kind of stuff, night photography, this is the one. The only downside is that it is manual focus only. Next up, DJI Mavic 2 Pro. Ton of fun to fly and this thing is an absolute aerial imaging beast. For me, it's a great tool in conjunction with my DSLR. And with a flight time of just over 30 minutes per battery, more than enough for, for most people. I used to have the Mavic Air, the original, not the second one, and I found the image quality, it just wasn't there when I was printing big. This, however, ticks all the boxes. I have two tripods. The first is the Mi Photo Road Trip. Typical travel style tripod, lightweight, sturdy, super compact, unfolds, and fits to my carry-on. It comes in a whole bunch of colors. However, orange is the best, and that is not up for debate. The smaller one, is the Manfrotto Pixie Evo for times when a tripod is not allowed. Great for museums, rooftops, propping up on a guardrail, or anywhere a tripod feet could get in the way. And it fits into my jacket pocket. Last but not least, filters. I carry a couple of these for my DSLR and my drone. And the two types that I use are neutral density filters as well as polarizers. These days you can get variable NDs and two-in-one polarizer and ND filters, which are pretty handy. I don't really bother with graduated NDs, to be honest. You can replicate their effects in post-processing. The ones that I have here are Polar Pro, and they've been really good to me. Hope you enjoyed that, and thanks for watching, guys.